As time goes on and on, more and more is added to Fortnite, some will argue, to the point that it is sort of being oversaturated with new content. There's a whole crowd of people who will argue that, you know, you can never have too much in a game. But realistically, that isn't true. You can totally put too much into a game, and the game can be worse because of that. I'm one of the many who thinks that Fortnite is getting stuffed full of content, which inherently isn't a bad thing, it's just that most of what gets added, the game doesn't really even need and the fans don't even want to use after the first few days. The developers are really committed to the game, and I'm glad that they are, because they could be awful devs and just decide to never update their game, and basically make the game a hundred times less fun to play. But I wholeheartedly believe that they're focused in all of the wrong ways. I feel like if perhaps they focused on other aspects of the game, or focused on making better content for the game, the game would be much better. I mean, let's be really honest here, and let's take a look at what Epic has added into the game since the last few months or so. We've had the crossbow, which was absolutely worthless unless you were basically messing with someone and making them think that they're being shot at for laughs. Thankfully, this was removed because not only did it spawn way too often, it was virtually worthless to 90% of players because most people weren't even good enough to land shots with it, and even when you did, it wasn't like it was as good as a bolt-action sniper. If you were good enough to hit with a crossbow, you were definitely good enough to hit with the bolt-action sniper rifle or even a semi-auto, which is also worse than the bolt-action. We've also had the hand cannon, or the deagle as many of you will call it, and it's also worthless most of the time too. I mean, if you're not basically barrel stuffing whoever you're shooting at, you're probably not hitting any shots because it's just so inaccurate. And I've never once even looked at this weapon anywhere past the beginning of the game and said, you know what? I think I should pick that up. Honestly, I don't think anyone wants to have a deagle past the first few minutes of the game because for what you can really get out of it, you're basically just wasting a slot of your inventory that could be well invested in a better weapon. Then we've had the port fort which takes up an inventory slot and does literally the same thing that players are supposed to learn how to do, which is build. Now, I understand the purpose that it serves, but it directly conflicts with one of the biggest mechanics in the game. I mean, one of the biggest things that Fortnite has going for it is you can learn how to build these massive structures, you can build these huge forts that help you win games, and honestly most people just basically rush you building stairs and then, you know, build walls around and stuff like that. They build the little one by one towers, and that's pretty much most of the building in the game. But it takes skill to learn how to build really fast in Fortnite and avoid being killed. It does not take skill to just pick something up that takes up a slot of your inventory and basically hit R2 at your feet. And honestly, if you're good enough at the game, you can counter a port fort pretty well if you just build up really quickly and just push them over the brim of it, but even then, it was more or less a worthless addition to the game. I mean, you could just plop down this big fort in the middle of a gunfight instead of actually just building, which it'll complement some players who don't know how to build like newer players, but it's just worthless to most players who have played enough now since, you know, almost everyone who's been playing seems to know how to build to some extent. Then we have the minigun, which is absolutely worthless in almost any scenario that I I've used it in. Not only does it just eat through your small rounds, it also does like 17 damage per hit and is hard to actually use in most gunfights, which is not really its main purpose, but it's also pretty awful against forts and walls anyway. And the minigun is supposed to be a weapon nearly exclusively used to tear down the walls of player structures, which is fine, but it's not even really good at that, and that's its primary objective, and it's supposed to be used in that objective, but I mean, grenade launchers and RPGs are infinitely more usable, way better at taking things down, and they defeat the purpose of the minigun. I don't really understand why they decided to add in the minigun, because I mean, I understand the objective of it is to basically tear down the walls, but it's just worse than everything else in the category that you would use that for. The same thing with the LMG, it eats through ammunition. I mean, the recoil is honestly ridiculous. There is no reason that it should have that, especially since it doesn't really do a whole lot of damage when you hit with it, and it's hard to get a kill to begin with with an LMG, and we just, the same question comes up again. Why would anyone really want to use this over an RPG or a grenade launcher? Regardless, both of these were added into the game after the RPG and grenade launchers, which I think have been in the game since it actually came out, or at least Battle Royale came out. The hunting rifle is decent, but I would obviously never pick it up over a bolt-action sniper rifle. I mean, obviously both are good if you can aim, 
but the bolt-action sniper rifle is much better than the hunting rifle. When you look at a lot of these additions, it just seems like Fortnite is having this issue in which Epic is adding a bunch of redundant items that either conflict with core mechanics of the game, or they're just worse versions of what we already have had in the game. It's kind of like the jump crystals in Dusty Divot or other crater locations around the map. Yeah, it's a cool addition, but... Why do we really need it? I mean, all, all people do with it are just bunny hop around with shotguns. I mean, it was already an issue before when people were jumping like a foot in the air, and now it's way worse that people can jump like 25 feet in any direction and just smack you in midair, because realistically when you're jumping, it's not that hard to hit people, but it just seems like it was an unnecessary addition to the game. Sure, it was fun the first two or three days, but now it's just gotten annoying when you're running, like, through Retail Row, and some kid pushes out of Dusty Divot with one of these crystals, he has, like, 20 seconds left on it, and he can just jump over you, and there's not much you can do because you just don't happen to have a jump crystal, you know? But going back to these questions, you know, why would you pick up a hand cannon that is super inaccurate when you can have a shotgun and they're easily the best? close range weapons in the game. I think that the only real additions to the game that I've looked at and I've seen have either served a really good purpose or they've added upon the predecessing items of the type are the chug jug and the clinger grenade. The heavy shotguns are decent, I guess, but sometimes they just seem to be pretty weak. In a lot of situations, I would easily take a pump shotgun over a heavy shotgun. Of course, that depends on the situation, but I'm not really too far in favor for either side of that because heavy shotguns obviously are pretty decent a lot of the times, but even then it's like we already had the pump shotgun and it's basically a glorified version of that. But the chug jug can be crucial to surviving longer and deeper into the game, you know? I mean, it can help clear up your inventory too, and using it basically gives you 200 health. Regular grenades bounce way too much in my opinion, that's why I generally don't grab them, but a clinger grenade is pretty useful, unless you already have like an RPG or a grenade launcher. They still serve a pretty decent purpose, especially early in the game, and in my opinion I think they add upon and outperform grenades. And I know that a bunch of you have already left comments saying, if you don't think that new content in the game is a good thing, you're an idiot. Hashtag I heart Fortnite. I'm not against them adding new content. I'm not even against them updating the game with new things on a weekly basis anymore. As long as what you're adding serves a good purpose and isn't just some item that we're all going to use three times and then get annoyed with and never pick up again, most of the items being added into Fortnite are basically gimmicks. I mean, let's be realistic, folks. I'm not even sure many of them are meant to stay very long, which is an issue I have with Fortnite, okay? They keep adding in all of these new things and then they just take it away so soon. I think that some of the items added into the game are literally just there to disrupt the gameplay and the meta of things for a few weeks, and then we'll just go right back into the vault. We saw that with the crossbow. I have a deep feeling that soon we'll be seeing either the hand cannon or the hunting rifle go to the vault, because many people aren't using them, and it's kind of just there for most of us. And I'm sure as we speak, there are definitely others of you who are leaving comments like, well, if you have all these opinions on what they shouldn't be adding to the game, what do you suggest they add? And that's an easy question. Limited time modes are generally really fun to play, but why are they limited time modes? What is the point in putting the effort into making new game modes for us to play like one time for five days when you could just as easily push out a massive update to the game, draw a bunch of people in, sell a whole bunch of cosmetics, which is obviously the bread and butter of Fortnite revenue, advertise the hell out of this massive update and just bringing all this new content to the game, get even more people reeled in, and just add them all in as a permanent mode update. I mean, it's not like Fortnite doesn't have the player base to make them all work. Games like Call of Duty seem to be able to go ahead and play like 14 game modes pretty consistently for at least a year, depending on the game, obviously. Most of the newer ones, that's not gonna happen, but... And even then, with the Call of Duty community being able to hang on to multiple game modes easily for years through some COD games, Fortnite's fan base right now is so much bigger than Call of Duty's, so it's not like they don't have this player base to make them work. Just do some fixes to 50v50v2 50 50 and make different modes available. I think, you know, they should be bringing back like 50v50 50 50 permanently, along with solid gold, explosives only, snipers only, and new exciting limited time modes can even be brought into the game, and if they don't resonate well, then you scrap those ones. But add in the new ones that you come up with. I don't really care what anyone says. Solid Gold is my favorite limited time mode of all time, and that's because everyone is on a completely even playing field. It kills the entire RNG 
crap with the game. A lot of people don't play because they say the RNG elements just throw them off, they don't think it's fair for some players, and I understand there's a lot of luck to the game. But RNG giving players luck doesn't matter because it comes down purely to almost all skill at that point. Everyone basically has the same weapons that do the same stats, and at that point, Instead of it being John Wick with his gold scar mowing down noobs with common ARs, it's everyone with gold scars facing off with one another. It's really the best player winning in that situation. Also, we need an actual new map. I love that they're updating the actual map we have now with new locations, but just like Dusty Divot, it was popular for a few days, now I hardly see anyone going there unless it's to get jump crystals to move quicker to the circle. Or unless there's like an entire team there just hogging up the crystals hoping someone else will come in so they can just jump over them and smack them in the face. When it first came out, it was the new Tilted, like half of the lobby was going there. Now it seems empty again, maybe I'm the only one having that issue, but we need another map to play on with new locations to explore, and just an overall different feel to it. That's one thing about PUBG, it has plenty of map variety for what it offers and Fortnite needs to take notes on that and do it better. New maps, new game modes, new actually useful weapons and equipment, maybe an extra slot added to our inventory. This game would feel brand new and be better than ever, believe it. Some people think that this game is perfect the way that it is, which is fine, but realistically it still needs a lot of work. If they would at least focus on making more useful content and things that would have a more lasting impression, the game would be so much better. I still really enjoy the game and I'm hopeful for the future of it, even though it's kind of a fad, the game has been enjoyable since before the hype. Fortnite is still growing in popularity and therefore, it needs to keep its appeal. I think that my suggestions would definitely please fans old and new. Epic Games has been good with taking community input, so if you agree with this video, definitely make sure to also make your voice heard, whether it is by sharing this video with them or by just making suggestions yourself. The more people voice their opinions respectfully, the more that we can make an impact on things that we care about. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter for thoughts and updates. And also make sure to subscribe to my gaming channel for bonus content there. And join the Discord linked below to talk to me and other fans. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Signing out.